I want to talk a bit uh, more about the um, crowdfunding platform that you mm -hmm. have. Um, so this is a platform um, that you've created to help ordinary people um, invest directly into projects and organisations doing good stuff. Um, is this is this usual for a, a bank? Is this is this a common type of platform? Where did it come from? Yeah, no, it it is quite unusual. I mean, we were the first, and I think it was probably still only the UK bank that has its own um, crowdfunding platform, um, and it grew out of um, our corporate finance team, which we've had in the UK for over fifteen years, where we advise and help social enterprises, charities. Um, any kind of, you know, um, impact driven business that needs to access investment in order to grow and we can help them find that capital. So that was work that when I joined the bank all those years ago, we were already doing, but we were doing in a very analog way, if you like. Um, and so really our, our investment crowdfunding platform is just an easier way for prospective investors to find these investment opportunities. Um, that we're structuring with those organizations that need capital to grow. Because um, sometimes a bank loan is the right solution for an organization, but there are there are a lot of companies out there who um, need more money than what they could borrow from the bank. Um, or it might be that um, they don't own their building, they don't um, have kind of the traditional security that a bank would require, um, and we can help them to find investors directly. So that, that is what our crowdfunding Doing. Mm -hmm. How do you measure and communicate the risk of the different projects? Um, are there sort of different levels of risk for each of the projects? And, um, and what has the kind of overall sort of success rate of the organisations mm -hmm. and the projects been, if, if you know that? Yeah. Um, so again, you know, with, with direct investing, um, it's, it's only going to be appropriate for people who are comfortable making their own decisions. Um, so that's, you, you know, that's one of the, the first things that, that we try to convey to people who come to our platform. Um, and one of the first steps that they have to do, which is part of the, the regulatory environment, but which is very sensible, is go through a questionnaire, um, which will ask a series of questions. And that's really to make sure that people who are who are going to browse and look at these investment opportunities understand that it's different from depositing money in a bank account, the capital is not guaranteed, um, and that the rates of return um, that are you know that are expected aren't aren't guaranteed either, and and also understanding that that again unlike a bank account or a savings account, um, those investments are usually tied up. For the whole period of the investment um, so it's really important for people to understand that you shouldn't be putting money in that you may need to access during the term so that's that's really um, kind of the overarching framework if you like it's just making sure that, that that before people you know even consider the individual investment opportunities they understand um, what those investments are all about and then what we what we try really hard to balance, and, and I think we get the balance right, but we're always open to further feedback, is explaining the investment opportunities in a way that gives enough information to you as a prospective investor um, to make a decision, whilst not making it so complicated that you know you're putting risk warnings everywhere and that you actually can't can't make a decision. And and that is really the the art, if you like, of, of what we try to do is we do a lot of work in our team. We spend months working with these companies. Um, unlike some other platforms, we just don't take companies' business plans and then promote it. We, we actually work hand in glove with them for you know, anywhere from four months up to sometimes a year and a half, getting them ready to, to where you know, we feel like they can raise the capital. Um, and, and then we try to convey that information in a way that's really accessible um, and, and digestible, and and we do point out the risks of you, you know of each investment. You know how long an organization has been set up, what they're going to do with the money, how proven um, you know their track record is, um, and and that kind of thing, so that people can make their their decision. Yeah, 
And just in terms of the um, returns when projects do mm -hmm. go well, which I'm sure is mm -hmm. most of them, um, but just in terms of the returns, is it is it um, set as kind of a fixed amount or does it depend on how well the yeah. organisation does? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, how is yeah, that so, set? So, so a lot of the organisations that raise capital through us choose to do it through a bond. And a bond is, is basically a, a loan from a group of people. Um, and so that will come with a fixed rate of interest, um, which will be explained at the outset. And, and the rate of interest might be anywhere from say, typically four to 6% per year um, that investors will be able to, you know, to expect for, for the life of the bond, which might be, again, it depends, you know, it might be anywhere from six to seven years upwards to 15 years if it's a renewable energy project those those tend to be the longest ones um, we do um, also raise share capital so that's like actually when you become a part owner in a business um, and we've recently closed a share offer for a bamboo nappy company um, and for something like that the return we we can't tell you what that return might be because it'll very much depend on the success of the business and when that company will be able to start paying dividends. Um, so for investors who want kind of more, um, you know, more of an idea of what the returns were going to be, you know, bond investments tend, tend to be more suitable. Whereas for people who, um, you know, who can take more risk with their investment, that's where investing in companies and doing it through shares um, can be appropriate. 